Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, and on this absolutely dismal uh, December day, we're doing a quick walk around video on this absolutely not dismal at all uh, 2020 Burstner Lycio Harmony I, no, Lycio Harmony T710G. Now this one has just come in. It's so fresh into stock, as you can see, it's actually still in our car park at the moment. Um, and it's getting dark and it's very cold but I thought we'll do a video straight away uh, get her online as it's sure to sell very very fast it's a really nice van so this one has just come in um, from its one and only uh, owner from Yorkshire who have part exchanged it on another Burstner it's absolutely immaculate so it's a 2010 Burstner Harmony Lycio, Lycio Harmony uh, T710G so it's a 7 metre long low profile um, from Burstner. Burstner are a, a German manufacturer of very high repute. Uh, I have a Burstner myself. Pete, my ex-salesman, also owned a Burstner for many years. Uh, and the couple who had this have had several Burstners as well. They're very good vans, modern, stylish. This one has only done three and a half thousand miles. But it's just under seven meters long based on the Fiat Ducato. Uh, it benefits from the quite rare layout these days of the uh, transverse rear bed over a garage. And because it's a transverse rear bed over a garage, it gives you much more space to have a bigger lounge and bigger facilities uh, in a seven meter van that's quite practical to, uh, to get around the place in. So we'll have a little walk around. Obviously no window sheet for the sizes on this one, but it's 6.99 meters long. I would imagine, I'd have to double check that, but it's certainly around seven meters. Um, She'll be 2.3 to 2.35 metres wide, it's a normal width, and uh, probably about 2.8 high. Based on the Fiat Ducato, this one is the 2.3, 130 horsepower um, with the uh, six speed automatic gearbox. So that is a sign this is actually a 2019 model that was registered in 2020. Um, drives really, really well, so three and a bit thousand miles, it's barely been used. Nice panoramic roof light, body coloured white bumpers, silver style pack. Um, can't quite see if it's got the LED daytime running lights, it may do. Very, very smart Fiat two-tone alloy wheels. This one that won't have the ad blue either, so this is the last of the pre-ad blue ones, so no extra expense or complications of adding your ad blue to the van. Great looking van, really nice graphics. Um, Lounge window, kitchen window, bedroom window, fridge vents for your big fridge freezer. Uh, this is a feature I really like with modern Burstners, this service hatch. Do excuse this, it's absolutely filthy this van, but it has just driven all the way from Yorkshire this morning. Um, so in the service hatch, we've got your fresh water fill up point for your tank, which is inboard so it won't freeze up. We've got your boiler dump point for draining your water from your boiler. And then we've got your um, main hook up and that's all hidden behind this nice door which is a great idea and good if you're going proper sub-zero. You can run your mains cable through that little grommet there. Flew for your heating system, you've got Truma gas and electric heating and hot water. That one's your gas locker, it's a typical European size gas locker so that will take two 11 kilo gas bottles. Um, 11 kilos of European bottles, in British bottle sizes you'll need two 6 kilo or 7 kilo Calagas. Or we can fit you two 11 kilo refillables if you prefer. Underneath of there's a dump point for your waste tank. Um, that dumps straight from the tank to stop it freezing up. And then at the back we've got your high bedroom window and that's over the top of your very big garage. So you've got two full size garage doors with this one. Having a look inside your garage there, that's the plus side of the transverse bed. This is the same layout, um, similar layout to my own Burstner. And you've got a really, really big garage at the back. There we go, started working again, thought the camera froze, sorry about that. So at the back you've got a really, really big garage as I was saying. Um, in here you can see it goes right the way around the corners as well. That's heated, it's lit, it's insulated, so if your kids are naughty you can tell them to get in here. Otherwise you'll fit all your bikes, your chairs, tables, all your general motoring detritus into there. And for security this one's had a Thatcham Category 1 alarm system fitted. And that's got sensors on the garage doors as well, in case anybody tries to steal your treasures. Stepping back, so this van's absolutely mint, not a mark on it. We've got a bike rack at the back. Now I've got a garage and a bike rack on mine as well. And you'd, you'd wonder why you'd have a garage and then have a bike rack as well. But sometimes it's just easier to stick your bikes on a bike rack and that leaves your garage free for all your other stuff. However, 
if you want to put your bikes inside and make your van a bit shorter, the bike rack just pops off at the, uh, at the back there. High level reversing camera, factory fitted. That feeds into a, a smart Pioneer double din head unit. Really nice full length two lay awning with a full length LED awning light underneath. I love them because when your awning comes out, your light comes out with it, which is really smart. And then you've got a um, LED light above your habitation door as well. So you can sit outside of an evening as it gets dark and you've still got plenty of light. Other side of the garage, you'll see your toolkit there. I don't know if there'll be a spare wheel with this van. German vans didn't tend to, but you've got your toolkit and you can carry a spare wheel in there if there isn't one. This van's got an external shower as well. You can see the hose right there. Really big storage shelves within the garage and you've got these slidable loops um, which are tie down points on both sides of the garage for lashing anything to stop it from flying around the place. Really good looking van this one. So we've got a couple of uh, other things on the outside here. So we've got, that is the um, point where you fit your external shower hose into there. So it's hot and cold shower. Great if you've got um, dogs or kids or whatever. You just want to get rid of the sand when you get back from the beach. This one will be a gas barbecue point. Yep, that's a gas barbecue point there. So you don't have to take a gas bottle out. If you've got a gas barbecue, that'll feed off the main gas system for the van. Have a look at the cab side of things. We've got all the kit you'd expect. So we've got these lovely Revit concertina cab lines. We've got the silver uh, Techno Dash. Um, leather gear stick and steering wheel. It's your six speed semi-automatic gearbox. That's a robotized manual. Um, very, very economical, very, very reliable. Been around an awful long time. It's a nice thing, it's better than a manual. Not quite, quite as quick a change as the later nine speed full auto, but it's, it's a tough box, well tried and tested, and it's better than a manual, so it's a good selling point, that. And see, so this one's only done three and a half thousand miles. We've got air conditioning, cruise control, hill descent control, traction plus, super advanced traction control, and we've got this very swanky Pioneer DAB Bluetooth stereo system for your phone calls, your reversing camera. Uh, you can play music from your phone onto that via Bluetooth as well. Uh, and uh, also it's got a smartphone mirroring. So that means it hasn't got sat nav in it, but you don't need it anymore because that will mirror your smartphone. So you can use your sat nav on your smartphone, on your Google Maps, which is live and constantly up to date. And that will appear on your swanky pioneer head unit so that's all good so it's a lovely lovely van outside price on this one is 59.95 in this day and age when actually you'll struggle to find any new vans uh, it's a really good buy for someone this one so you open up your very wide habitation door there you've got a wide step wider than normal door which is centrally locked with a big window in it and a bin which is lovely you've got a fly screen door there and you're straight into your front lounge. Now, first of all, notice there's a hatch there. So you'll have some underfloor storage there. So we've got, as you can see, double floor with storage within it. As we come in, we'll find this is a really nice place to be. So we've got the big panoramic skylight. We've got this plush harmony line leather stitched seating, which is real leather, I think. I think it's real leather. It smells like real leather, don't hold me to that, but I think it is. I'll have a quick walk around the van there, have a look to the back there. It's a very, very stylish, nice place to be. So we've got curved cabinet work in this sort of teal mink kind of colour. Really, really nice, fantastic lighting. I don't think there's a company out there which um, does better lighting than Bursner. I love this control panel, this sort of 1920s retro control panel. It's a really smart place to be. It feels like a luxury hotel room in many ways. So you can see why these are so popular in the UK and very, very well built. Now back to the factual side of things. We've got a big table there that will drop down and form a single bed. So it's a three berth with four seat belts. Seat belts on the forward facing seats there, obviously. Concertina blinds and fly screens on all the windows. All of these spotlights you can turn and twist along like a scale electric thing basically so you can have as many lights as you want wherever you want them opening skylight at the front smaller skylight and then another smaller skylight as well these cupboards are all really deep which is lovely kitchen 
Again, fantastic use of lighting in the kitchen. L-shaped kitchens, I really like them. She's so got a decent bit of workspace. We've got a three burner gas hob on the top there. And for the British, and only for the British, because the Europeans don't want it, they put us in a little oven and grill. It's not massive, but it's better than not having an oven and grill, because we are the only country in Europe who uh, who insist on having that. Oh, look at that, we like that. That's kind of cool as well, the way that comes out. So you can put your, put your tins of beans and things into there. Then we've got three... Oh, two <laughs> deep drawers there. Very, very smart in Furnister. What a nice thing. It is mint, this van, as well. So they've come down from Yorkshire in this this morning and swapped the gear over into the uh, new person that they bought. Um, but it's absolutely spotless. It's a real credit to the previous owners, this one. Over here, we've got massed banks of light switches. We've got a TV bracket there for your flat screen TV. It doesn't come with a TV. People swap them over onto the next van, but um, it's got a TV area on the roof. It's also got a big solar panel on the roof, and it's got that alarm as well. Digital controls for your Truma heating system. That does your heating and your hot water. It runs off mains electric when you're hooked up and gas when you're not hooked up. Your fridge of a similar nature, you've got this modern three-way auto energy selecting fridge. So that means, and switch it on there, it will self-seek the best power source. So at the minute, we're not hooked up to the mains, the engine is not running and we haven't got any gas, so uh, it, you'll get the alarm. So it will try and run off the gas when it's not got mains or the engine. If we plug it into the mains, it will run off the mains, and if we start the engine, it will run off the engine battery automatically. Good freezer at the top, which is removable if you don't want a freezer. And then loads of room in the fridge underneath of there. That's just an empty cupboard up there with a plug socket in it. So that, if you want in a microwave, um, to, to supplement your quite small oven, then uh, there's probably room in there for it. That's a really handy feature. Again, Europeans not interested in microwaves, but there is room for that there. More underfloor storage running through, and then we've got your your bathroom here. We come to the bedroom in a minute. We'll do the bathroom now. Really, really good bathroom. As you can see there, we've got the standard Tepfer cassette toilet. Good size basin with one of these uh, one of these funky taps. Real big separate shower there with two drain holes, we like that. Real good size, skylight for ventilation, Hollywood mirror with lighting. And again, all absolutely mint. Opposite the bathroom next to the fridge, we've got a full height wardrobe. Looking inside of there, big hanging rail, and then a TV aerial. Above there with more storage and a second hanging row. Is it hang second hanging row? Or a bit of wood anyway. This is a feature I like. You've got storage built into the steps. I like that. This is a real good feature for the dog owner out there. Oh no, it's not. I thought that would be access to the garage. If you wanted to convert that to access to the garage, you could take those shelves out and uh, cut a hole through. Then you'd have access to the garage for those who want to keep their dog in the garage. But if not, you've got real good storage there as well. That's a big storage hole. This is what I like. We've got, if I could work out how to unclip it, a solid door, which you need two hands to do. <laughs> but yes, you've got a solid door there, <laughs> which will come across and completely segregate your bedroom, which is a great idea if you've got kids or something like that. You can see that will come across there and give you a proper, proper bed space. And at the back, you've got a massive transverse bed. Now, transverse beds have gone slightly out of fashion these days. My own person has got a transverse bed. The great thing is with a transverse bed, you get a very large bed across the back. This one's got bucket loads of headroom as well. Sometimes it can be a bit high up, but this one isn't. So you've got two proper steps, so they're dead easy to get into, this particular one, and loads of headroom. So that's the two negatives that people complain about transverse beds for. This van doesn't feature. But because the bed's going crossways, it's probably four foot six, maybe four foot eight wide. It's only taking up four foot six, four foot eight. If you saw this van as a seven meter van with a lengthways bed or lengthways single beds, the rest of the van would be so small, you'd lose all this floor space, you'd lose a lot of your lounge, you'd just lose the feeling of space. So a transverse bed, uh, if you're happy sleeping crossways, which I personally do, uh, makes the best use of space and there's a lot to be said for it. Again, fantastic use of lighting at the back. We've got the uh, Sky Electrics lights up there. Big windows at either end, which is really, really cool. Three massive closed cupboards up there and an opening skylight. So this will be a very light, airy place to be. And a second TV bracket that will come off so you can lie in bed and watch the TV. And again, that's all absolutely mint. It's a beautiful, beautiful van. 
So this is the uh, 2020 plate uh, Bursner Lycio Harmony T710G. Got the name right, happy days. <laughs> it's priced at 59.95. It's in stock now. It's available now at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch. We are the Devon Branch of Highbridge. If you ring in, please ring the Devon phone number of Highbridge. That's the 01626 number. You can put in an internet inquiry through the Highbridge Caravans website. You can come and see us. We're on the main South Devon Expressway, just south of Exeter, where the M5 ends. So we're not deep as dark as Devon. And we're on the main dual carriageway between Exeter and Plymouth. Um, new vans are a nightmare. Can't get hold of them. Fiat delays. Absolute disaster. So this is a quite desirable bit of kit. And it's the Burst Nalicio Harmony T710G. It's got... The Shranky Dan reversing camera Pioneer head unit. It's got the automatic gearbox. It's only done three and a half thousand miles. Aircon cruise hill descent. Lovely leather Harmony Lion edition um, seating and lights. It's got the bike rack. It's got the solar panel. It's got the TV aerial and it's got a quality alarm system and two good TV brackets. And it's spotless. Burstner 710G, Highbridge Caravans, Devon. Thank you very, very much. Goodbye.